All right, so Agatha all along has finished its run, but we're still here talking about it because there's, well, there's a lot to talk about here. So we have some news that's kind of interesting because it's, on the one hand, it's something official that may mean something or may not mean something. And we're going to talk a lot this episode about things that may mean one thing or may not. You know, I think that there you can always read into things as they come out, especially when it relates to Marvel. But there's some interesting stuff to talk about for Agatha all along for sure. So the Emmys. For those of you who are unaware, the Emmys are basically the Oscars for TV. For those of you who are unaware of the Oscars, it's basically, you know, the biggest event in movie awards, right? It's the biggest awards, the best picture, best cinematography. You know, they have the hosts usually, although recently they haven't been having as many hosts. And the Emmys are similar, right? The Emmys have best series, best comedy series, best drama, and they have their best acting categories and whatnot. So there is that. But the way that I don't know the exact intricacies of how things, everything gets submitted in, in the Oscars and the Emmys and how they're different and how they're similar. I know that they're, they're voting boards and a lot of people from guilds, you know, vote on these things. But anyways, there are processes by which you can nominate your film. You can, you know, uh, submit your film to be reviewed by these boards and by these guilds, and then they can decide to nominate you for these categories and these awards. And so Agatha All Along, right, the first season has been submitted for consideration for Emmys. That's fine. I mean, I don't think it's going to win anything. I, I, again, even the most avid fans of Agatha All Along, I think, would admit that it's probably not going to win, you know, best series or best comedy series or whatever series it, it would win. But what's more interesting about this is not the fact that Marvel submitted. I mean, they, they submitted Hugh Jackman for Deadpool and Wolverine for an Oscar consideration. And while I love Deadpool and Wolverine, it, it's really fun. And I, I love Hugh Jackman. For those of you who don't know, Hugh Jackman is probably my favorite actor working today. It's amazing. I don't think there's any shot that he gets even nominated for Best Actor or Best Supporting Actor. But anyways, it's not the fact that they have nominated Agatha All Along, but it's under which category. They have actually submitted Agatha All Along to the Best Comedy Series category. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, Axis Blockbusters, what's the big deal? It's Are you saying it's not a comedy? Is that why you're making the segment? No, not necessarily. I am making this segment because there's actually another category that Marvel very easily could have submitted Agatha All Along for, and in fact, if it was a certain way, probably should have submitted Agatha All Along for, and that is Best Limited Series. Now, limited series are essentially, I, there, there are different terms for it, you can have a mini-series or whatnot, it's essentially a series that was only designed to be, you know, a certain amount of episodes in one go. It's basically one season, it's a mini-series, however you want to frame it, you know, there's not going to be a season two. Right, it's just a limited series. And again, I mean Marvel has had their limited series before. I think, you know, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I think even WandaVision was a limited series. You know, Loki obviously was not. Loki had a season two, Hawkeye might have a season two, Moon Knight might have a season. So, you know, those those shows you leave the door open for season twos, but you have had your limited series at Marvel, right, thus far. Shows that clearly were not going to have sequel series for various reasons. WandaVision because she shows up in Doctor Strange 2 and Falcon and the Winter Soldier because he's going to get his own movie, Captain America, Brave New World. But Agatha All Along was not submitted under limited series. It was submitted under best comedy series, which usually indicates that there is going to be a continuation. In fact, I think there's a stipulation in the rules that says you submit it in these categories if they these are series in which the characters have the likelihood of returning for another season or in the future, uh, future projects. Now, as far as I know, right, as far as I know, does this guarantee Agatha All Along season two? I don't think so, because otherwise the headlines would have been, oh, Agatha All Along, guaranteed a season two. I, what I think this means is that Marvel is keeping the door open for Agatha All Along season two. Again, I don't think it necessarily means it's going to happen, but I think that this, what this does mean is that Marvel has not shut the door yet on Agatha All Along season two. And why wouldn't you, right? Because I think for the most part, people had a good time with the show. Again, if you didn't, totally fine. If you love the show and think it's the best thing ever, also amazing. Love that. I was someone who, you know, was a little iffy towards the beginning, but I think really got on board towards the end of the series, and I, I liked it quite a bit. But I think that, you know, the way that the series ended, no spoilers here, there's a very clear pathway towards a season two. Now, the way that the show ended, and again, we're not really here to talk about the plot details of Agatha all along, but, you know, just to give a minor spoiler alert for the ending of, of season one, if it is season one, the show ended on a little bit of a cliffhanger where the characters are now heading... I think very clearly towards another adventure. The question then became, where was this next adventure going to take place, if anywhere at all? And with the success of the show, it seems like you surely have to pick up that storyline. Was it going to pick up in the White Vision series? Possibly, although that series feels a little full as it is already in terms of storyline. You have 
you know, Vision and Ultron. And I think you're going to have other characters, maybe even Tommy Maximoff is going to show up in that show. Who knows? And if Tommy Maximoff shows up in that show, well, it seems like Agatha and Billy could. But also, it might make even more sense if they just did Agatha all along season two at some point. And we know that Marvel has shifted their focus more towards actual showrunners and actual episodes of television rather than just doing the whole, you know, let's cut up a movie into six parts, right? That's not really what they're doing anymore. And I think that's a good thing. So I think that for me, what this means is that Agatha All Along season two is much more likely than it ever was even a month ago. And I don't think that it's guaranteed. I think that it's just that Marvel is keeping the door open because there are obviously much more many more stories to tell in this world. But I ask you guys, do you think Agatha All Along Season 2 is going to happen? Do you think that this storyline is just going to get resolved in the Vision series or in somewhere else? Or do you think it's just never going to get picked up? Let me know in the comments down below.